Hey guys, Coach Ben here. Pitches.com. And I'm here with Tommy Matthews, and today we're going over an interesting concept of using the bar as leverage to get yourself in the position on the bench. Now, I've been seeing this kind of reoccurring over and over with a few people that I coach, and well, I'm going to demonstrate for you how they go about creating the leverage with the bar to set themselves in the position. It's kind of unique and I've been seeing it going on a little more and more so I wanted to cover it in a video on what's actually happening and some adjustments to make here. So Tommy Matthews is going to set up by using the bar as leverage. So what people like to do when they use this style of setting up is they like the bar in the back of the rack. All right. So he's pushing it to the back of the rack because what he's gonna do is he's actually gonna push against the bar to get his shoulders tucked underneath him. All right, so rather than using the posts of the bench, he's actually using the bar um, to set his shoulder position. All right, so very effective strategy as long as now someone, your hand up person, slides the bar, don't take it out yet, slides the bar to the front of the rack, right, so that he doesn't have to travel all this extra distance. And while someone's pushing him to the front, he's not losing any of that shoulder position. All right, so very interesting strategy. I've seen people using, doing this, and it's perfectly all well and good. Nothing wrong with it. Like I said, there's a million ways you can set up. You can use the post, you can use the bar. Everyone does something a little bit different and it just depends on what you like to do the most, um, what you feel gets you in the best position possible to bench. So that's one way of going about it, but just make sure your hand up person's bringing you to the front. Usually if you're the one sliding that bar back forward, uh, very easy to lose some of that, that tension you gathered, some of that shoulder position. All right, so why don't we do it one more time, Tommy Matthews, to show everyone. So we start off, bar's in the front of the rack, right? He's gonna get in the position here. He's gonna push this bar back, all right? That's just so he can push against the side here. Setting his shoulders. All right, he's keeping that tension to the bar. Now, I'm gonna pull him forward to the rack. All right, and he's all set, ready to go. He'll call me out like normal. I'll bring him into position. All right, so just one of the many ways you can go about it. You definitely just don't want to take the bar out from back here, though, uh, because now you're traveling. If you look at this, you're traveling an extra, you know, two inches here. And look at the distance that we're covering going back and forth. All right, so make sure you're not taking the bar out of the back of the rack. We don't want to do that because that's just more distance. We have to travel with the bar, uh, more time for things to go wrong, all right? Unless you're in a circumstance where going to the front of the rack, you're feeling yourself losing a lot of position for some reason, all right? And that's when, you know, maybe we'll think about taking it from the back of the rack. But if you can, always take that bar from the front of the rack, minimize that distance traveled. All right, guys? So that's how you go about using the bar as some leverage to set your shoulder position. Just one of the many ways to go about it. Coach Ben here. Tommy Matthews. You know where to find us. You can meet us on a bench. <laughs>